Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. (laughs) Is this the best gig in the world? Seriously. Is this the best goddamn gig in the world? Sitting here, drinking champagne, chatting you up here? Are you kidding me? DJ DeVilio, by the way, sending me photographs of some of the clientele of Club Bounce where he's going Saturday night. Oh, baby. Meaty, biggy, beady, big and bouncy. There they are. Holy cow. Uh, that chick on the right, that, that chick would be flat as a board if she weren't 200 pounds. <laughs> She'd be flat as a board. She only has breasts because she's big and fat. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Look at that stuff. Dean is getting ready to go to Club Bounce this Saturday night. Dean better get a visit from the Muffin Man beforehand. That's all I can say. <laughs> that is going to be off the hook. Dean J. Davilio hitting PCH in Long Beach this Saturday. And for those of you just tuning in, Dean is heading down to Club Bounce. And uh, they'll be bouncing for breast cancer at this club for the big fat fatties. And Dean's going to be down there. And I, I've offered him $5 a pound if he bangs a fatty. By the way, I think it's only fair that it be uh, the 200-pound minimum. 200-pound minimum? 200 pounds. All right. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I mean, the bigger they are, the more he gets. Dean himself is about, what it, what, he's like a buck, what do you know, a buck 70 or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, he's about 170 pounds, so he needs at least. Gotta be bigger. Yeah, he's gotta be bigger. Gotta be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be bigger. All right, uh, look, the sky's the limit. I mean, there is no limit how much money I might have to pay out on this. But I better see evidence that there was actual sex. Uh, I just came from in there. Dean's talking about doing multiple women. (laughs) Multiple women? Really? Yes. So he's going to have them line up? Uh, Yeah, I think he's going to have them lay down, and he's just going to go for a swim. I'm just going to say this. If he's going to do that, I'm driving down to Long Beach to see it myself. I don't want to. You really don't want to see that, do you? I'm coming down with a video camera. I'm coming down with my video. I'm bringing my camcorder. Who wants to see that? Well, I just want to have it documented so that when I... Look, I'm paying $5 a pound. Just looking at the girls on the website has made me gag so much that I had to go in and take a break and have some food and try to, like, settle my stuff. But you understand, I mean... That you can actually watch Dean do the women. I got to have evidence. I mean, if I'm paying that kind of money, I got to see what I'm paying for. I don't think I can take... I I can't take it. I can't take the whole thought of it. It's just killing me. It makes me sick. I, I agree, but I have to see him. Dean literally could get caught up in the fupa, and we could lose we could lose him forever. I understand that. You re, you realize that? Yes. You Not know, that it'd be that hard to replace him, but but we could lose him. Ever since we came here to this movie studio, Dean's been looking for a role, and now he's going to get several roles in one night. And I will, I will pay. I will pay to see that. As disgusting as it is, I need to get a look 
I need to see him do this. I think Dean's going to be the only uh, Caucasian guy down there, uh, judging by the website. That's another Seems thing. I mean, look, yeah, and and by the way, we, we've got the largest loyalist African American audience. I mean, they're they're the best. They're Without great. Without a doubt. What is it about these clubs that draws black guys? I just have to know. And not only that, while we're on this subject. I mean, does it prove the point I've been making where the only reason you would do a fatty is because you might be in a lower income bracket? And a lot of our African American friends are in a lower income bracket. Not all. Many are not, but many are. I mean, is that what it is? Or are the standards, you know, for, for these guys, you know, they, they got so many fatties they're used to dating that they, 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 I don't get it. Well, if you consider the $15 cover charge, it's yes. a very target-rich environment, I would imagine, because... Y- they're you're, all you're... putting out. Right. I mean, how many of these women <laughs> can, be, all... can afford to be coy? And they're all very large targets. Well, I, not tonight. We're going to have to date a few times. I'm going to think about it. Come on. <laughs> you're talking about now, very you... large, sexy... In quotes, girls. Yes. Now, Dean, Dean now is sending me messages here wondering how he's going to get aroused. Hey, Dean, that, I'm paying for performance here. I mean, it's like when Alex Rodriguez played for the Texas Rangers. They couldn't win the World Series, but he got his money and he had his 330. And do that's, what you got to do. If, I'm, you you got to go out there and you got to swing gotta, the bat. If you got to do the clear or whatever. It, the whatever cream it takes. and the clear. The cream, that's right. The cream and the clear. Get it done. Do whatever you got to do. I love how Dean does this. He always like you know, stutters a little bit when it comes to yeah. actually delivery. He yeah. sort of throws it out there like he's going to do it. Yeah, and, and he then always all tells you it's a great idea. Wait a minute! When I throw these things out, he always says, "What a great that idea is, they are, dude! Dude, how am I going to do this, <laughs> dude?" I mean, see, I've already thought it out. I know I couldn't do it. That's why I'm paying him to do. It. That's why I'm paying. Him. We don't have to see the pictures, though. Do we really have to? Oh, I'm taking them. Uh, Tom, you know, I'm getting what I paid for. Now, I may never look at the video again, but I'm going to have it in case I ever need it. And I know this really hurts, Dean, too, because he, he really goes for the skinny chick. He likes anorexically. Oh, I know. Chicks. He really, you know, the, if there's nothing on him, he he thinks that's great. Oh, I, I know he does. But, uh, you know. He's going to go out I don't there. think he's driven to to nausea like I am, though. I, I'm, I'm really, I, I find this to be disgusting. It's totally disgusting. It's totally disgusting. But if he's willing to do it, I'm willing to pay for the opportunity to see him do it. I will, uh, by the way, if he's going to do, mo- uh, if he's going to do one, I'll, I'll take his own photographic evidence, okay? But if he's planning on multiple chicks, I'm going to be paying $5 a pound for like, I don't know how many. <laughs> I'm I'm going down to get a look at that in person. I'm going along. I will go to the LBC. I'm going. I will go. I will I will I will dust off my cinematographer credentials. I'm going down there with a camera. Don't worry, Dean's got the camera. He you can he'll just hand it off to you. You can go ahead and perfect. Shoot it. I need to see this. I need to see Dean doing this. By the way, some of these photos. Do you see these photos of these two Mexican chicks dressed as um, devils? They are very large women. Is that women. from the club? Yes, from, from the, the club. club bounce. Very, very large women. These are very large. And you know, by the way, Mexican chicks, I'm to- I'm all over that. It's not more the merrier there? It, uh, I, yeah. No, no. It's not. I don't have different standards for them than I do for anybody else. <laughs> these women are humongous. They are absolutely huge. And, of course, the ones that wear the horns are always the bigger ones. They're even bigger than the other big chicks. What does that mean when a chick wears horns? Does that mean she's she's devilish? She's, she's devilish. Yeah. She's an imp. She's she's going to rip your clothes off. Ooh, here she comes. <laughs> That's right. She'll tell you she wished you looked like Mark Anthony, but since you don't, I'll take you anyway. Tell you. Now he doesn't get any extra money if um, if the facial features are <laughs> off. <laughs> extra? No. If, no, no, no. I'm gonna go for the hottest chick in the place. You really? Yeah, go for the hottest chick in the place. If there is such a thing. Well, the yeah. thing is, I, I I'm really not concerned if they are hot chicks. 
He can find the hottest fat chick in the place. That's okay. I will pay full price. Even if they the ones that have a beautiful face, the one that people always say, oh, you have such a beautiful face, I, I will pay him even for those. <laughs> and no, Dean, oral sex doesn't yeah. count because fat girls love to eat. No. Right. Unless, unless no. by the way, unless it, I, I actually I'll pay out of my own pocket if he is the giver on that. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I like that. Yes, and I'll give him the bag of flour. <laughs> <laughs> I will give him a Thomas guy. He, he will need a map of downtown Fupa to get there. Lift, separate, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> and D when Dean finally gets to downtown Fupa, you know, he'll be like, I don't know where I am. Where am I? Tom? Gary? I know I'm down here somewhere. <laughs> now, remember what happened when we sent him out to the valley, um, and he called us in the middle of it and said he wanted to leave, and you told the girl that he was... Well, then we have to explain this. Yes. I mean, I, he put yes. the girl on the phone. That's correct. No, we, we sent Dean out to Calabasas because a chick called in and said she would do him, and I said, Dean will come out there and deliver the Stromboli tonight. Hot and fresh. He'll be out there in 30 minutes or less. And so Dean was like, yeah, I'm all over it. And so he gets in the car. He drives out to Calabasas. And then you and I, with, with my with my friend Bart, we were out there at uh, Stanley's on uh, Ventura Boulevard. Right. We, we just went to a bar while, uh, while we were waiting for Dean to, to do his do business. He had to do, yeah. Right. So then, then the phone rings, and it was it was your phone or mine. I don't know. Oh, this is your phone. Yeah. Dean calls, and Dean says, uh, get me out of here. Uh, this, you know, like I guess he escaped to the other room. He says, this chick is disgusting. Yeah. She's married, which she didn't tell me, and she's disgusting, and she's terrible. And so I told Dean, put her on the phone, I'll take care of it. It's a true did, story. And what did you say to the girl? When I got the girl on the phone and Dean was safe without a earshot, I said, don't let him out of there until he's after you. I, if you have to block the door, do whatever you have to do. Don't let him out. <laughs> but I don't... I, it wasn't... It, it, was actually even, it was actually even worse than that. I think that you had to take her from behind in order to get out of the house. Is that right. what that happened yes. Sorry, I, you don't yes. usually barge in, but yes. uh, the, the situation was like this. She had sent... Uh, you had set this up on the air as yes. usual. It was really, it was incredible. It sounded great. This uh, broad's husband was out of town, and uh, he was on a business trip, and she was left in Calabasas by herself, and uh, she needed to be serviced. So you had sent me out there, and she had sent a glamour shot, which is. Uh, right. a, a, which is one of those fuzzied up pictures of a person. You, and get it, you get it at Sears, right next to the power tool, like an Olin Mills kind of thing or whatever. But uh, I, I said, I thought, okay, you know, there was no money on the line. But I thought, you know what? If this broad needs some servicing, I'll get out there and get the job done. So you sent me out to Calabasas. Uh, the glamour shot that had been actually taken was taken, I would say. About 15 years ago. It was taken at Montgomery Ward back when there was a Montgomery Ward. <laughs> I'm surprised they even had color photography. This broad that answered the door, oh, answered the door in a negligee that was, I, I, you could see right through it. It was one of the most, it, the image is burned now, in my head. I remember she was stanky too. She had a bit It of was stank. the worst smell on earth. If you took fish uh, and left it out in the blazing sun, for like four days, that is the smell. That's the only way I could describe it. But did, did we 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 forced an alternative input? Did we not? It, yeah. It, well, I don't remember how that came up, but I think that was my idea. So, <laughs> I thought I'd be smart and call Tom and say in a code. I actually called Gary first and said, uh, "You know what you do every morning around Fairfax High School." And he said, "Yeah, run." And I said, "That's exactly what I need to do right now." And. Uh, you handed the phone off to Tom, and I basically was pleading with him. I'm like, please, you know, kind of uh, – I walked outside. I'm like, please, I need to get the hell out of here. And Tom was kind enough to say, yeah, let me talk to the girl. So I handed the phone to the girl, and uh, here comes the rub. So instead of saying, okay, let the kid go, you said to her – Make sure he Fs you before he leaves. Do under no circumstances. let him leave the apartment. If you have to block the door, don't let him out of there. Don't let him out. She said, okay. And you thought I'd told her to let you go. Yeah, so I'm expecting this nice opening up of the door. Instead, she stood between me and the exit and said, Tom said that you can't leave until you do me right now. 
I wish it was even that simple. You got simple. the job done, though, right? I mean, you did get the job you done. You performed under he pressure. He actually got it done. And wasn't the husband, like, on his way home? Back. He was literally on his way back. Yes. And I had to do this quick rush job, and she's, like, trying to hold on to me. And the I'm rush, like, the I... The rush job yeah. is better than, than nothing. Right. Yes. And I'm trying to get the hell out of there. And I believe I met you guys at Stanley's, uh, which is a bar in Ventura, uh, yeah. Afterwards, and I couldn't get home to take a shower I, fast. Enough. I have I had never seen Dean so deflated in all my life. He was he was speechless, and you know Dean, he never stops running at the mouth. He was speechless. And was by totally the way, you remember he was drenched in sweat. It looked like he walked or ran back from Calabasas <laughs> to Studio City. It couldn't have been fast enough. I'll tell you what, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. It was one of the. It seriously, I can still see that broad. By the way, those the of you who don't live here in SoCal, from the distance angle. from Calabasas to Studio City is about 35 miles. That's a long way. I felt like Carl Lewis getting the hell out of there. I, I ran. There Dean, was just... Dean didn't look like he used a car. <laughs> yeah. It, probably, it was just it was a nightmare, and it's one that I have never forgotten about. You were pretty pale when we saw you. You almost didn't look Italian there. For no, it hurt. Yeah. It really hurt. And actually. then let's add on, since we're talking about the times we've sent Dean on these missions, let's talk about that Israeli girl who had the apartment that you guys <laughs> went to visit. Mara. That was priceless. We actually uh, we, we took some pictures there. That was full this, blown this disgusting. Was, this was an Israeli girl who said she had very large breasts, and I said, of course, Dean would be happy to come <laughs> out and service her. And Gary and Dean went together with a camera this time. I guess after the Calabasas affair, uh, this time uh, Gary wanted to document this. So Gary and Dean went together to visit this girl, and uh, I saw the photographs. And, uh, well, she did have large breasts, and she was Israeli. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but this woman lived in an apartment. Where was that apartment located? Northridge. Northridge. Way the hell out it there. Was, uh, she, was, uh, uh, she was going to Cal State Northridge. Yeah, she was a student. And it looked like uh, she hadn't uh, picked up anything off the floor since the earthquake in 1994. Everything was on the floor, including open packages of butter, cat food, uh, other foods that shouldn't be sitting out on the floor. We should scan those pictures. We actually have pictures yeah. from that night. You just and, have to uh, blot out her face or put something them up. so we yeah. don't get sued. But and right. again, I, and maybe this is the topic. I mean, it, uh, the pitch was really a wonderful pitch. This girl sounded like she was very she had the attractive. Accent, she sounded hot, and yeah, and she did have very large breasts as she advertised. She s made it sound like she was. Going to look like uh, Punky Brewster, like now, like Soleil Moon Fry, well, some hot Jewish chick, and I'm like, and oh my god, I'm coming, I'm coming right over. It's always a problem when they say they have those big cans. You you start to think that you know it's better than it really is. Well, because you always assume that it doesn't have the natural underwire of rolls and rolls of fat <laughs> underneath. Uh, but by the way, you know, I mean, most Israeli chicks that I've ever known have huge cans, but a lot of them they're like Cuban girls after age thirty. Boom, they, they, they explode. They, they, they get huge. I don't know if she was 30 yet, but she was large. And the, I saw one of the photographs, the cat. She had cats. <laughs> and the cat was licking the butter. The stick of butter was sitting on the floor. Yeah, it was literally in the middle of the living room. There was a stick of butter and a, cake mix. in a frying pan with stuff in it in the, I mean, on the, the floor. The, what this should tell you. And, and this is something I learned in radio when I was a child, okay? If someone calls the radio station and says, I will have sex with you, there's a reason why they're doing it. It's not, you think, you think like Carmen Electra is sitting home calling disc jockeys on the phone going, hey, come on over. I mean, come on. Women who call up and say, come on over. There's a reason they're doing it. They're either insane or disgusting and usually both. In, in those two cases, definitely both. Yes. And that brings us to now 2007, where I've now offered Dean $5 a pound to go down to Club Bounce in Long Beach on uh, Saturday night. And, and Dean had the idea, because I, you know, fine, one chick, $5 a pound, I could pay, what, $1,500? Dean now is talking about doing multiple chicks. Well, it's fantastic, Dean. You know what? I'm willing to pay. Actually, Gary kind of inserted that. I was thinking about making a human mattress of laying these fat broads out. And spreading them out and like laying across them. That 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 was my multiple chick idea. Yeah, but you gotta. Yeah, you gotta it's gotta really, be actual. No, I, money. I know. I, I'm just trying to think of can can I perform because that could be an issue. Believe me. Dave, just, just imagine just, money bags in front of you. All this money. Uh, I know. I, maybe I have to take I, a uh, yeah, Viagra or yeah, something. Yeah, that of makes course me, you would. That makes me go boing when I think about money. Come on, just think about all that money you've got sitting ahead of you there. That's true. That's very you true. Do, you could just nail one. 
one after another. I'd buy another CD, thanks to your recommendation. Exactly. Get yourself a good six-month CD put while that, the interest rates yeah, still up there. Put that money away. You got me a 5.6% uh, yeah. out of Absolutely. Chorus Bank. Thank you. We'll take care of you. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I'm going down with a camera. Art has uh, agreed to come no, with if me. if you are doing multiple chicks, I'm going. Yeah, I'm not going to guarantee that. I would certainly okay. want to waste your time. But so there will Art, be video Art evidence. Go, Art is going. So, yeah, somebody's going to have to videotape. Art has agreed to go. Art will be your cinematographer. Yeah, scared. he's going to hold on to the... Uh, Why audience. does Art want to go, by the way? What's with you, dude? You got a little just, fetish yourself or what? Just, just to see it happen? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> oh, not in this show. <laughs> Get ready. Do you Art. have uh, lighting equipment and stuff? <laughs> you're, you're gonna... I have that Paris Hilton... Lighting, that you, uh, green light stuff. What you, what you oh. want is one of those miners' hats with the light on the front. There. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm going to need that. Yeah. Uh, is this where you want to be to lick? <laughs> you forgot, dude. Dude. <laughs> this is Tino. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm doing Can you imagine? I am he doing. needs rope and a pick. <laughs> and all kinds, you need all kinds of things, dude. I'm going to have to repel, dude. Yeah. We need to give you some hiking boots. <laughs> Is Big Five Sporting Good a sponsor of the Tom Lucky yeah, Show? I'm going to need to head over there. you got to need, like, like these to have on those, uh, on, like, a 45 record. You're going to need, like, an adapter for some of these chicks, you know, because... Probably a bit a little stretching going on. Those devil horn pictures that uh, <laughs> that are on the website are the are the ones that are really That's, messing me up. I'm looking at that right now. I mean, it's just seeing those two come at me is just oh, an absolute nightmare. Beautiful. Oh Look man, at that. I just Thanks. saw indeed some of the possible uh, contenders for Saturday night oh, at Club yeah. Bounce. Yep. This is going to be great. And you're on the list, Dean. That's great. So you don't have to pay. Here you go. There you go right there. Did you actually get on the list? I didn't know. Yeah, I talked to Lisa Marie, and uh, who is pictured on the Club Bounce site. She's one of the founders. She was nice enough to have me plus uh, three. Plus. Yeah. (laughs) Plus. Yes. Plus Plus plus, three. At six foot, 175 pounds, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. XXX. Doomed. Doomed. It's going to be great. Awesome. Are you wearing uh, a costume of any kind? I mean, is there is there a what theme is there a here? costume no, called? Not... Well, Gilligan would be Wait, nice. Is there a costume <laughs> called the Scared Guy? <laughs> 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 This is this is not Halloween. This uh, is the... by the way, I'll throw in uh, more of my own money if he goes as Gilligan. <laughs> oh my god! I'll be looking for my skipper. Just great. I sent Dean a link today to a Gilligan costume for him for Christmas. Perfect for, for, uh, for Halloween. Halloween. Fantastic. Yeah, good idea. Hello, Dean. I'm screwed. Yeah. Screwed. Oh boy. All right, we'll take a break here. All we'll right. come back and uh, talk to our public. But yes, Dean uh, has been assigned. Dean is uh, going down to Club Bound in uh, Long Beach. That's a club for very fat women. And uh, he will not have paid the cover charge. He's on the guest list. So he's going to go down there, and I've offered him $5 a pound. Uh, yeah, uh, now, will Dean actually come through, or am I going to come in here Monday with some lame excuse why Dean didn't perform? Well, you know, it's kind of hard. To, it's been a while since we put him through his paces like this. It's, I know. It's, uh, I, I wonder about it. Well, I wonder. Know, I mean, Roger Clemens comes out of retirement every spring. You know, we can always uh, count on Roger Clemens to come out and, uh, you know, join a club in June or July. Uh, maybe it's time for Dean to go out of retirement here and uh, get back on the road. I wish him the best of luck. Absolutely. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with your telephone call. Stay right there. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 866. Okay. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. What I would do if I was getting married is I would say, you know, to love, honor, and cherish until you become a fat pig, in which case I'm gone. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1 800 5800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. All right. We've dispatched Dean to head down to uh, Club Bounce. Do a little bouncing. Rich on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Rich. John, Tom, now listen, man, I know a lot of guys that are trying to get ahead in this world, and they love their job, especially when their boss throws them a special spiff 
or a special bone they can go after. These guys jump and they run because, you know, they want to climb up the corporate ladder. But you realize what you're doing to Dean J. D'Amelio, dude? Do you really know what you're doing to him? What am I doing to him? <laughs> I'm giving him money. I'm paying. Look, I don't expect him to do this for free. I'm paying. I know even a good pay, but think about it. You've seen porn, right? You see, like, old porn. Ron Jeremy is like a staple of porn. Everyone knows him forever, right? He laid the wood to thousands of good-looking chicks, gross chicks, whatever else. Now when you see the guy, he just looks dirty to you. So <laughs> think about that, Dean. If there's video of you and your boy see you doing this lay the wood to some fatty, I mean, you're on top of her. You roll over twice, you're still on top of her. Dude, that's going to go out of the guy's head. They'll never see you other than... <laughs> I'll never see you for other than the, the the chubby humper. But I'm I'm paying him a good money. By the way, oh, I mean God. Ron Jeremy got paid. I'm, I'll tell you what. Too. I'll bet Ron Jeremy didn't get paid as much as Dean's going to get paid if he makes us a double or a triple header. Tom, now did you say five dollars a pound? A pound, but it has to be a minimum two hundred pounds. Wow. What do you, what would you consider that? Is that kind of like a bantam weight? Is that a middle weight? Well, I, I, at this place, I'm looking at the pictures. I think that's like a, 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 a welterweight, for God's sake. Now, that's a featherweight. What kind of proof does Dean have to come back with? What kind of poon? Proof. proof. Oh, proof. Oh, photographic evidence that we're setting art down with a camera. Oh, man. <laughs> And, Art and will be there to document this. You're going to ask her. By the way, my guess, knowing Dean J. D'Amelio, uh, he's he's a big man, but he's a big talker. But when it comes to actually getting the job done on Saturday, he will uh, puss out. Wow. Dean, I'm just telling you, you get really drunk and bring like a Viagra. I've been collecting money while you're passed out, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, love the show, dude. I'll keep listening. Blow me up. Babe. I'll blow you up, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Here comes Dave, listening to our online stream in San Diego on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Dave. Oh, I gotta tell you, Dean. Uh, uh, this the Dean, man. I'm checking this. Uh, pick party thing they got on here on the internet and it is oh i can't believe dean is doing this some of these <laughs> photos some of these picture galleries i'm seeing this is horrible oh boy i don't think you could even pay me 500 dollars a pound so you actually logged on to take a look at these women <laughs> yeah, yeah you know caught my interest i just decided to see just how bad it was and oh my god it is awful <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't pay, like I said, you couldn't even pay me $500 and get me just totally plastered to do any one of these girls, man. This is horrible. Well, what, look, I'm paying a pretty good price here. I mean, what would it cost? I don't think there is an amount. I just couldn't disgrace myself like that. Oh, Dean. Well, Dean, I think, can do that. Dean's but... already done disgracing himself, yes. I think. He did that years ago. Yes. So this makes it actually very easy for him. It's That's right. A, it's not a real moral decision at this point. It's just whether he can actually get the job done. <laughs> you got to have some stamina, man. <laughs> Take plenty of Viagra. <laughs> God, I think Dean will deserve all the credit in the world if he can do this. <laughs> he's got more courage than I do, that's for sure. Uh, he's going to have more money than you do when he comes back here and he, uh, he uh, you know, manages to uh, uh, attack his prey on Saturday night. I don't think he's going to make it, though. I really don't. <laughs> I think he's going to wuss out at the last minute. Especially well, when he gets several of them. We'll have a full report, but I, I again, don't expect anything because Dean has pushed out on some of these things before. Yeah, but uh, right, we're so. we're trying, and I'm I'm offering cash. I mean, look, if it's money, I'll make, I'll I'll have to up the offer if that's what it takes. But I, the job has to get done. Look, there are worse things. I mean, just because he'll be labeled a chubby chaser at this point doesn't. I mean, it's not the end of his career. The well, guy, even then, he'll be a, he's, a, he's a money chaser. He's not a right. chubby chaser. Exactly. He's only doing this for the money. Right. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. He wanted the money, and uh, let's fa I, you know, look, let's face it, great perks about working here, but let's face it, they don't pay enough to the staff. They don't. These are ways I try to augment the staff income here, try to give these guys or throw them a bone once in a while. Th this is a pretty big bone. Large bone. <laughs> yes. All right, Tom, can you take me out uh, plane down the drain style? Plane down the drain? Yeah, it'd be a JFK Jr. followed by an old old school. Oh, you got it. Here you go, Dave. Tom 
like us. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom like us. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, I want you. Oh, did anyone ever tell you you're beautiful? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're lying to me. Oh, baby, that hurt. The Tom Likas Show. Smashed our screener, Dino, down to uh, Club Bounce this weekend. By the way, you can go to clubbounce.net or go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. See some of these lovelies. I think this is going to be more trouble than we thought, Tom, because uh, Dean was in here looking at the pictures, and he was ga- he, he was, was gagging. already gagging. He went over to the uh, he yeah. I think he actually threw something up into the uh, garbage can over there. <laughs> we were looking at some of the uh, past. Uh, what do they call Miss Fatties from Miss the uh, Miss, Miss what? Bounce? Miss Bounce. Yes. From uh, the past couple we, of years. We can match up Miss Bounce and Mr. Snuggle. It'll be very exciting. Oh, it's really hard to take. I mean, it really does uh, uh, trigger a gag reflex. Oh. It's not a good thing. Oh, my. <laughs> By the way, I have, I have an email from a listener named Brenda. This is for Dean. And uh, here's the email. It says, Dean, don't go to Club Bounce. The place is horrible. It's inside a hotel, so you have a line with people going to a wedding and, of course, all the fat people waiting to get into it. The place is full of sweaty, stinking women. Smells like something is rotting. Word of advice, take an air freshener. (laughs) By the way, I should remind people that if you go to blowmeuptom.com, we're linked to it right on the front page. And if you you go to the gallery section, there's just a... Wealth of unbelievably <laughs> disgusting stuff you can you can check out. Oh yes, um, but if you look at some of these parties and um, the full room shots, I mean there are hundreds of these fatties in the room at one time, <laughs> and I think Dean might be a little overwhelmed by the whole thing. But Art sa- Art says he's going to be right behind him, pushing him in. If you can Im- if you can imagine, oh, Art actually pushing from behind. This is what's going to happen. By the way, Gary, if you can only see, I'll turn the screen around here. There's a picture that a listener has been going through the Club Bounce website showing me some of the other... The other women, the Dean get up to me. Now, Dean just Dean's walked back in the other back room. In. He can't, There's yeah. I don't some, think he's Some re- of the contenders right there. He says he is, but I don't think he's really ready for Are you for ready this. for this, Dean? Yeah, no, he's not ready for this. Are you ready for this, Dean? I, no, I, yeah. I really have to say right now. <laughs> Let me get plugged in. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, listen, uh, first of all, I have to say before this happens that I just agreed to go down there. Uh, this whole money thing is something in addition. I really, after looking at these pictures, it's really, it, it hurts, actually. Uh, yeah, listen. It's not the $1,500. I've never done a fat girl in my life. I, You know, I can't start. Now, this so. is the time to do it. Actually, you're at your thinnest, uh, and you know <laughs> it might be the most interesting if you do it uh, under these circumstances. Oh, I'm sure it's great for everybody but me. I mean, this is this is an absolute. And there's other nightmare. there's other financial possibilities. I hear Channel Ten and Phoenix is looking for a new logo, for example. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, fine. I'll be the one, and I'll find a broad to be the zero. No, seriously. Together, we could be ten. If you're worried about your reputation, I mean, it was, like, at its lowest, maybe, like, uh, what, five, six, seven years ago, and everybody forgot about that, so they'll they'll eventually forget that you did fatties at some point. Uh, it's no, a, it's it, not going to go on forever. Thing. I'm definitely going to go down there and check this out. Okay, no, there's, what do you mean by I'm, check it out, though? I'm I, mean, gonna, I, I, I just wanted to take pictures and bring them back. For that's, Tom. that's not interesting enough. We we really do need you to take. I mean, one you're for the asking team. me to we do cross a threshold. Take two that, for the team. Take two for the oh team. Oh my god! Strap something on and do that for the team. Whatever you have to do to actually, you know, get it done. Let's just do it. I mean, it, it shouldn't be that. It's one. Hey, you want to talk about performance? It's one Saturday anxiety. night you're out of your life. No, don't worry about it. Just no. Do, like I'm, I said. I'm even thinking about it. It's going the other way right now. Pop a couple of uh, you know blue pills and you'd be good to go. Don't worry about it. Don't don't overthink this. 
Think of it as you're going into a dinner of some kind. It's a gig. Gonna, oh, yeah. You're going to eat, you're, you're eat her up. You know, I'm worried about this whole hotel thing because there that means there are actual rooms yes, adjacent that's what to I'm the club. About. Do you think of the snake oil that you have hawked for a lot less money than I'm offering to pay you to do this? <laughs> I was at 5 in the morning, Tom. Nobody was listening. I'm not talking this about fish is... oil. I'm talking about oh. the snake oil. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, we're not going to share the pictures with anybody else. Uh, Tom just needs to see them for, for proof so he can yes. pay up. That's all. That's no, all. I, I intend to do a full investigative report. I... I'm not so sure I can actually do this. So I'm on record at uh, 647 or 648 in the evening. Pacific time. Pacific time. Uh, that I'm not 100% sure I can do this, and I didn't make a promise to do it. You to be backpedaling. If I'm, if I... oh, because did you look at the pictures that Tom yeah, was showing no. you? They're it, delicious. They're absolutely they revolting. Delicious. Revolting. Mm, yum. Revolting. Mm. Revolting. Delicious. If you took all the girls I ever banged in my life and put them together, they wouldn't add up to be one of these broads yeah, with the you, horns on. Your fetish is the exact opposite. You like anorexic. Heroin yeah. chic. Yeah, th- th- this Sign is cool. me up. So this is something different for you. Yeah. yeah. yeah a lot different. And you're getting paid to do it. So, what's great. the problem? Exactly? It's a great deal. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm going Saturday night. I'll say that. I'm going Saturday night. However, I can't guarantee action, but I will go. And uh, I said I would go down there. I'm going okay. down there. No promises as to, to banging one of these girls. Ladies, I if you cannot go to Club promise Bounce, that. You, if you see Dean, don't let him out of that room <laughs> until he does you. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Groundhog Day. And these uh, women will have the ability to hold on to you and keep you where they want right. to keep you. If Dean uh, pops his head out of the hole. That means what? That summers. Hey. <laughs> summers. Don't forget to. Let dude. me out of here. Summer's over. Dude. <laughs> this is Dino. <laughs> the official bouncer of the Tom Likas show. <laughs> oh, great. All right, Dean, get back to the phone because we got, we got a couple of minutes let's here. Let's rock this. Now, let's, let's take some calls here. All right, uh, Dean goes back to the phones here. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. And, uh, okay, door calls. Good. Now the Dean's out of the room. Uh, yeah. This is an email. Dean won't find any 200-pounders. I've been to Club Bounce twice. I had driven past the place for a year and just needed a beer one night, so I stopped by. I noticed a couple of fatties walking up but didn't realize what the place was until I got to the entrance and saw the herd as they were asking for the cover. (laughs) I didn't stay. I made the mistake of mentioning the experience to a buddy of mine who was into bigger women. When we go to clubs, he always flirts with a fat friend because he thinks they're more fun. The bastard nagged me every weekend for six months to get me to take him there. I finally gave in one night, but only on the condition that he paid the covering for all the drinks. Apparently, it was fetish costume night, and they were charging $15 per person to get in, and he was happy to pay for both of us. Tommy was expecting the place to have a bunch of the chubby fat friends from normal clubs trying to be the hottest ones in the club, but that's not how this place works. The fat friends don't go to Club Bounce because they have more fun going to regular clubs, hanging out with normal guys because they're with their good-looking friends. Club Bounce is for the chicks who are so (laughs) nauseatingly huge, nobody is willing to use them as the fat friend. The smallest woman there could have played offensive line for any NFL team. The small girls were 6 feet, 300 pounds. Half of them were the worst kind of fat chick. The ones that are huge but don't even have boobs. I felt so physically sick I couldn't even drink the half of the beer my buddy bought me. If he hadn't agreed to leave after 15 minutes, I would have walked the five miles home. I had to call it a night at 10.30 and take a shower. I felt so bad. I feel dirty now just thinking about it. Don't go. The things you will see there can't be unseen, and they'll stay with you to the end of your day. <laughs> He says, forget $5 a pound, $1,000 a pound is enough to get me back there. You know what this means? I mean, this means it's, this means it's a big payday for me. I know it's a big it's payday. It's a big payday. Big it's in every big, sense of the word. It's a very large yes, payday for him. Yes, ching ching in the biggest way it possibly could be. Right. He's going to find coins like in a, like in a couch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, find hundred dollar bills in there. You want to roll a fat? Absolutely, uh, Jose. What did you want to say here? Hey, uh, Tom. Yes, Tom. You know what? <laughs> what? I think you, have, you need to up the ante, man, because uh, kind of saw that was almost worth, you know, five dollars a pound. And what he's going to be eat and compress it to that? It's terrible, man. It's terrible. You're doing a bad thing, man. Have you been to the website? Have you seen these pictures? No, but I'm going to be going there as soon as I get home. I recommend you do. <laughs> and I sure you agree. I do. Dino. I don't say. Dino. Dino. Thanks for the call. Dino. The Tom Likas Show.